Oh god. Right. Oh, he's right there. It's a big one. See him? Oh god, yeah. Dude, it's a giant. <laughs> Dude, look at that. That is so cool. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today I find myself once again up here in northern Wisconsin and we're going to be doing some ice fishing. Now I'm not sure exactly when you guys will be seeing this video but chances are this is I believe the third walleye video that we have uploaded this year and this is actually the second time I have been to this body of water. Now the body of water I hate to hype it up every time I come here but this is the land of giants and today I don't know, I feel like today is the day. I hate to go into it high hopes because, you know, just whenever you do that, it seems like it never works out. But today it's warm, it's in the 30s. The last few days has been brutal, brutally cold. It has been, we even had some negatives with the windshield. So I'm super excited just for the weather. I'm out here in a sweatshirt. It is freaking gorgeous. I am out here, not with Brandon. We've got my good buddy, Cody S. You guys have seen him. God, I don't know how many times on this channel, but it's it's been a lot, hasn't it? Many times, many times, Nick. Cody has not caught a true giant out of this lake. I don't know if he even believes that I'm taking him to the right body of water, uh, because every time he's not here, I catch a big one and I claim it's out of this lake, and then he shows up and they're just not here. So hopefully we can change that around, but if you guys have never seen Cody on the channel or you've never seen Cody in general, uh, he is also a fellow Wisconsin YouTuber and we do a lot of filming together. Big I guy he's actually a guy down in the Green Bay area so if you want to check him out I'll leave all of his socials but you're gonna be seeing him a lot on the channel we have a lot of crazy stuff planned for this year and I'm super excited but I'm gonna stop rambling we got quite a bit of setup to do here it's about three o'clock so we want to get these tip-ups in before dark but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna dive in show you guys how we're gonna be setting where we're gonna be setting and how I like to catch these walleyes up here in northern Wisconsin so let's get right into it all right, you guys, so first thing that we're gonna do before we get fishing, obviously, is get some holes in the ice. So today, you guys can see I'm holding something a little bit different. The last couple days here during this week, I have been strictly using a chisel, and that is because, well, it's thin ice, and not a lot of lakes have ice even, so very important tool to have. You're able to check every step, and then when you gotta drill a hole, you know, you're only breaking through this much ice, so a chisel is not that bad. Now, today, the lake that we're on has about four inches in this specific spot. So I said, you know, what the heck? I have this freaking new auger that I wanna check out. So I decided to bring it along, and actually, believe it or not, this thing is just as light as the chisel. I know, I couldn't believe it either, but this is the brand new Eskimo E40. Now, this is brand new for this year. They decided to come back in the market and put out an auger. So super excited to test this thing out. This will be my first time using this thing. And I've heard really, really good things. All of last year, I ran the Ion Alpha, which is an incredible auger, but this one has a little bit time and place difference than the Ion. So the Ion is a little bit bigger, a little bulkier, and that thing's gonna just cut through a lot more ice. Now this one is the lightest on the market that you can get for a 40 volt. It's also still gonna cut just as much ice. It's just not gonna be as fast as what the Ion Alpha is. But this thing comes in, I think 13 or 14 pounds. So extremely light. This lake, we had a hike like a mile through the woods to get to. So being able to have an auger this light and still punch a bunch of holes is absolutely ideal. So if you guys wanna check out the new Eskimo E40, definitely go down in the description, go to Eskimo site, check it out for yourselves. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm actually gonna drill my first hole with this thing and see what all the hype is about. Yeah, that thing rips. If I come in a little closer, you guys, if you've never used an electric auger before, you can see right here we got 
forward, reverse, easy flip, and then you got two levers here. You press these two together, obviously turns the auger. And super simple, anybody can use it. A four year old could even use it. So obviously Cody could probably drill me a couple holes tonight. I got a few more holes to drill the rest of the day to get set up here, kind of on a time crunch. Still got to get the underwater camera out, check some spots to make sure we're in the right area. I'll show you guys how to do that, but yeah, then we'll get to fishing. You can probably tell this looks a little, little more clear. Uh, that's because this spot was the last to freeze and we are probably only dealing with I don't know, it's probably still two and a half inches, but I got my Markham underwater camera here and I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna drop that down, turn this thing on, showing you guys what I am looking at. So if I drop this thing down, we should probably be in about seven or eight feet of water and you can see, maybe, you guys can see that this is directly in the weeds. Now, Seeing weeds is really good because that's what we're looking for. The main spot, I would say 90% of the time when I am walleye fishing on any body of water, I am looking for green weeds. And when you find the green weeds, you want to find the edge of them or a pocket. And that's where you're going to want to set up. It does help though, not just like any weeds, like where there's muck or anything like that. You want to find like a sand gravelly transition into a weed line. If you guys can find that, I can almost guarantee you that there will be walleyes there in your lake and you're gonna catch them. So that's what we're kind of looking for. This one is in the weeds. I know that everywhere behind the camera right now is all solid weeds, which means I just gotta kick back just a little bit to find that edge. And when we find that, that's where I'm gonna be setting up. I wanna be within five feet of them probably because these fish, when they're coming from the deep, they're gonna be pushing into this and they're gonna be looking to feed. Today, we're gonna be setting the good old iFish Pro. This is one of my favorite ways to catch walleyes through the ice, just because instead of hand lining, you get to fight the fish on your favorite rod and reel. And today, I am using my favorite rod. This is the Drench from Frostbite, one of the best walleye rods that you guys could probably use in their lineup. That is what we're gonna be setting today. I got 15 pound fluorocarbon to a red treble. And what we are gonna be doing is using very large suckers. I went ahead and I didn't I didn't just stop at walleye suckers today. Oh no, let me find one of the big boys. So I went ahead and I actually stepped up to the pike suckers. Now, I don't do that a ton when I'm walleye fishing because a lot of the lakes, you know, maybe are just numbers lakes. But when you are on a trophy lake, I have caught some really nice walleyes out here using just the biggest suckers that you can find. I'm talking the ones that you gotta bite their tail off because otherwise they're constantly tripping your flag. That's what we're setting out here today because we've all heard it before, big bait, big fish. Now, if you guys have never set an iFish Pro, I'm gonna give you just a quick rundown. I don't wanna bore you too much here, but, so it's basically the same way as setting a tip up. You put a depth finder on, you send it down. This is the bottom right here. Okay, so now this sits maybe an inch up, so you just wanna go an inch up. And then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be setting these uh, probably a foot off the bottom. So I'll go a good solid foot, and on every single rod here, instead of using like a bobber or a button, um, you will use just a slip bobber stopper. So I will slide that all the way up to right here. I know that this is a foot off the bottom, so every time the flag goes off, I can reset it properly. And also, that plays a huge part because you have this little tab here, and that will go up to the stopper, and that can't go past it. That's how you use the tripping mechanism here. You have this, you put that tab underneath it, and that is what trips the flag. Go ahead, get one of them big suckers on here quick. I'm going real big, Cody. Real big? Real big, look at that thing. That's probably a good solid seven incher. <laughs> I hope that one doesn't trip it. We will find out shortly, but go ahead, send them down to the depth. You have that tab, you run it in the middle here, and you got your rod, set your rod in the holder, open the bale up so the fish can take that line. And then all this does 
put the tab through there, lower the flag. And then on the iFish Pros, I don't know if you guys can see in here or not, but there are three different settings. You have a light setting, which we're definitely not gonna do because this will pull it, medium and a heavy. So I'll set it on the heavy. You got your bail open there. When a fish comes, it'll pull down, trigger the tab to take out the line, flag will come up. Obviously we'll run over here, pick up the rod, shut the bail and you're on. So cool way to fish. I would definitely prefer this over tip ups, but if it's cold and your eyelets are freezing, your line is freezing, these freeze, it's just not ideal. But today, nice weather, we got them out. First one set, I got two more to set. We got all of our holes drilled. So yeah, pretty much now, once I get those set, it's just a waiting game. Hopefully it won't be too long and uh, Cody and I can see big old girl while I come up and show herself tonight. Ah, man, I don't even believe it, but it is now 7.30 at night. And we have just gotten our very first flag of the night. It has been three hours after dark. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, normally if I was on a different lake, I would have already have left. But this lake, you might only get one flag and you might have to wait six hours for it. But that one flag could be the biggest walleye. A century of your life, unless you're Cody and you fish in Green Bay. But <laughs> for me, in Northern Wisconsin, this could be the biggest walleye of my life. It is so, the iFish Pro. Oh my God, this is the one with the big middle too that I set. Hey. Oh God, this is the big one. Like, big sucker. There we go. No. <laughs> that thing is peeling, dude. How long do you think it would take for this thing to have this swallow? Because it's like a seven inch sucker. Yeah. You know, I, it's hard to say. I would, I would bet the way it's running with it right now, it's not completely swallowed, but it's got to be getting pretty close. I mean, it's moving pretty good. Okay, we'll see what happens here. First flag. This is what it all came down to. There we go. Got him. Oh God. Feel good? Feels. He's like straight out this way. Yeah, it feels like pretty big head shakes. We're gonna see him under the ice. Yeah. Oh yeah, we are. Yeah, this feels pretty, pretty nice, but this is also the first wall I have caught on a rod this year. So my judgment may be a little off, but it feels pretty nice. Like it's definitely not small. Well, we love to hear that. It's gonna, it's literally gotta be like right under the ice. The line is so tight. Oh, here's a leader. It's gotta be close. Does it feel decent? He's not doing a whole lot right Oh, now. he's right there, it's a big one. See him? Oh God, yeah. Dude, it's a giant. <laughs> oh boy. Look oh, that this. is so sick, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh my God. Look at that, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> Cody, can your so camera sick. pick that up? Oh yeah, I'm getting that real good, I bet. This is that one bite that we were waiting for, though. Dude, look at him just swimming around on there. That is sick. I know. God, he does not want to come up this hole. Oh, that is up. so sick, dude. Yeah, just take your time. Tire him out. Yep. It's always hard on the thin ice when they don't want to come up. Right. God, I, want to run even more. I literally watched this flag go up. Nick and I were talking about like, oh, Nick maybe. and I were talking about pastimes like we always do when we're together. Like maybe we wouldn't get a flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he's getting there. He's getting there. Oh, mad. Why are you so mad? All you gotta do is just come say hi. That's all. We've waited so long for this. Look at, dude, look at that. That is so cool. Literally on two inches of ice. Like I could just grab him here, right? but. <laughs> oh, he's almost ready. You want me to grab him or you got him? You can grab him. I trust you. There you go. Atta boy. <laughs> Man, that's a fatty. Oh my God, look at that, dude. Check out that wall. I mean, this is a seven pound fish all day. 
and it hit. I mean, we were thinking it was this one, but we weren't sure, but this is the biggest sucker we had out. They do get a lot bigger in here though. Luckily, it's not super cold out, so we don't have to worry about stressing the fish too much. Oh, just like that, popped right out. I didn't have to put my players in. All right, guys, we actually didn't get a measurement, but solid, solid fish to get the night going. Look at how it just fills up that eight inch hole. So thick out of here. They definitely do not uh, eat bad here. I mean, they they stock up on perch and all that good stuff. Incredible. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. Just straight back down to the depths. <laughs> that is one of the most like memorable fights I think I've had ice fishing for a while. Like the fact it was just on this crystal clear ice like that. Like I had one last year. I talk about this fish all the time, but one year ago on this very day, I caught a nine pounder. That one was not nine pounds. Still a respectable fish, but I also caught it on clear ice like this. Hopefully that's the start of something. We get, get a couple more flags, but even if we got to wait, you know, one every hour and we get something like that, that'd be definitely worth it. We made it to the truck. Do you believe that? I I don't actually like it was a it was a heck of a walk to get back, but we made it. We made it. I mean we didn't only sweat our butts off getting here. We, we did make it without puking. Yeah, I guess thank you Eskimo for not only making an awesome auger, but making super warm clothes, which normally I would not like be mad about. But in this instance, guys, your clothes are too warm. I've been sweating my ass off for the last mile and I didn't really enjoy it considering- I strip, but I have the legend <laughs> bibs on. <laughs> yeah, I have at least one of the lighter bibs on, but Cody was rocking the heaviest of the heavy. He was in it today which was super nice while we were sitting out there for eight freaking hours after dark it is after midnight guys and uh you know that's just the name of the game two nights in a row now i have been to this lake and uh two nights in a row i've been going home after midnight but again i say this all the time when i come up here and film this is a lake that you just there is no proper time to leave the longer you can stay here uh, the more chances you have at a giant and that was the main goal of this video great way to start the season so far Brandon has been really the only one catching some big walleyes he caught that one that you guys saw and well I topped him so he's gonna have to one-up me he's probably gonna have a hard time doing that because we'll just leave it at that but <laughs> It was it was still a fun night with Cody. Uh, we made a lot of memories like we always do when we fish together. So again, if you guys want to check out Cody's side of today's video or anything that he films the rest of the season, it'll be down below. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. My arm is actually extremely tired from carrying this camera. I think I'm just well past exhausted. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a like. Leave a comment down below if you guys are enjoying the walleye content or if you wanna see really like any content throughout the year, leave it down in the comment section. We do read that and respond to everybody. So it just helps us out because it gives us ideas that we may have not have thought of. So leave a like. Leave a comment, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will catch you on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edits.